I'm Eva Noblezada. I act on Broadway, and this is how I get it done. A typical morning, I wake up at around 11.30. That's a lie. The alarm will go off at 11.30. I'll probably wake up around 12, 15. <laughs> Shower, have breakfast, maybe read, go get a coffee. I do yoga every day. And then I bike everywhere, so to me that's my exercise. I used to go to the gym every day, but I realized that what a waste of time that was. Today is a one show day, which I'm very grateful for. So I normally try to sleep as much as I can, take it easy throughout the day, maybe enjoy the weather if it's nice. And then one show days are done, like it's, we call them one and done. Two show days really, it's like getting beat up, but not that bad. And then you having a really hot meal and they're like, do one more time. <laughs> and then after you do it again, you realize, okay, that was really difficult. Because I'm technically going to hell four times in a day, which is a lot on the brain. <laughs> We're at the Walter Kerr now. You're gonna follow me inside and watch me go from less attractive to a little bit more attractive. Follow me. Oh, so this is Vinny, and this is Kevin. Hi. <laughs> so that room right there, that's where the magic happens. I'm joking. This is the wardrobe. <laughs> So I think the reason why I have to keep buying new pants is because I do so many steps in a day that it doesn't really fit all what's going on back there. So you missed me signing in, but I'll do it because you're special. Some little check mark. And uh, I will warn you that my dressing room is literally on the roof. So before I have you come into my room, I want you to meet Lupe. This is Lupe. His neck's a little broken. And also, fun fact, didn't have enough tape, so I had to use nipple pasties to put that on the door. Because that's the life of a showgirl, eh? But welcome to my humble abode. This is by probably one of my favorite artists that do work for Hadestown. I just think that she captures the show so beautifully. That's one of my favorites right there. And then that's me in the room. It's just a vocal warm up. That's pretty much it. I don't really have a pre-show. I mean, I do that while I'm doing my makeup and on a two show day, the second show, I don't warm up as long because I've already warmed up my voice during a show. So I'll listen to like the best 50 opera arias of all time. And also, really. All the good girls go to hell. That's like Eurydice's song. So I feel like I have ownership over that title. I think if I met her, I would die. If she came to see Hades Town, I'd literally shit my pants. Not in these, because they're white, but like another, another pair of trousers. Oh man, self-care is everything. Like, the more I work in this industry, the more kind of annoyed, but also optimistic I am about creating more spaces to encourage open conversations about self-care and anxiety, because our job, if you really want to break it down, is to constantly be on. This shit is real. And I love you five all. Minutes, ladies and gentlemen, five minutes to the top of the second act. Five minutes, please. God, give me strength. Uh, it's real, and I just thought I would have you see. Sometimes it happens during a show. I love my job. I'm very grateful. I love my life, but sometimes shit is hard. You want to have a community of people who go, oh, no, 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 I co totally know what it's like to have a bad show and then go home and cry about it. Because I, I always think I'm the only one. And if I feel emotionally drained before, sometimes you got to drain it even more because with Hades Town, you know, you can't half-ass anything, you can't fake anything with the show, so it's difficult, but I love it. Being a love interest who looks like me, half Mexican, half Filipino, it's truly special and sometimes I really can't take it well because I think I'm definitely not suitable for this job. And if I really peel off the layers of why I think that, it's mainly because I didn't really grow up seeing love interests on stage who looked like me, so. It's the most incredible feeling having girls and boys at stage door get emotional and we hug and they say, thank you for representing. If finally somebody on stage has a nose like me and is getting kissed by a handsome man. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm very proud to be who I am and to be in this role. It's, I'm very, very grateful for that. I just like doing things that are chill. Like 
maybe writing a little bit of music or like reading a book. I try to read three books at the same time. So like I'm reading The Four Agreements by Dom Ruiz, I'm reading Memoirs of a Geisha, and I'm also reading Shantaram, which I will never finish. And I love also like reorganizing my closet. Chill things. A nice cup of gin. Ooh, <laughs> that brings the whole body down. But yeah, watching a show, you know what I do love doing at the moment is watching Great British Bake Off, the new one, and then eating dinner while I'm watching it. I do good salmon, I do good chicken. I can make shepherd pie if I'm impressing anybody. Other than that, I don't know, it depends what's in my fridge. I'm very good at scavenging. I go to bed at like maybe two-ish to four-ish, pretty big gap of time. And then I wake up at like 12-ish <laughs> and then I do it all over again. 